姐，您吃了药，早点休息吧。邀请美国乒乓球队访华。主席，您说什么？您再说一遍。邀请美国乒乓球队访华。主席，您白天不是刚批示说不邀请美国队访华了吗？这个怎么这会儿又变了呢？哎，小郭，你怎么还在这儿站着？我让你办的事，你怎么还不去啊？快去！今天早上退给外交部的那份文件，是您亲自签约的，说不邀请美国队访华了，怎么这会儿又邀请了呢？您这吃了安眠药，说话还算数吗？算数，赶快去办，啊，要不就来不及了，啊，哎，赶快去。主席同意邀请美国乒乓球队访华，这个消息确切吗？好，我马上通知外交部，让他们正式邀请美国乒乓球队访华。请接外交部。Very good news, Mr. President. What makes you so excited? I just received this urgent cable from Ambassador Maya just a moment ago, inviting our table tennis delegation to come to China. A sudden move indeed. Are you sure? I'm absolutely sure. They are going to go to Beijing, through Hong Kong, of course, on the 10th, after the championship closes on the 7th. God. Even if I cannot figure out what this Chinese move means at this point, one thing is certain. This is surely a god with gesture, don't you think? Indeed, sir, it is. Today, so early, to invite everyone to come. The time is very pressing. We will investigate how to handle the American ping pong team's problem. Mr. President, the American ping pong team is the first American ping pong team to handle the first American ping pong team. You must do it. 把这项工作呢做好做细。毛主席说，要让他们参观一些我们的人民大会堂。不仅如此啊，还要安排好丰富的参观旅游活动，让他们体验一下我们中华民族是一个礼仪之邦，而且我们中国人民呢是热情好客的，不像他们西方宣传机构所描述的那样。青年獠牙的魔鬼啊！总理，您说他们来了之后，我们要不要考虑安排几场友谊赛啊？当然要安排，我看还是安排到北京体育馆，我们争取让更多的人观看。那万一他们要场场都输，那会不会就太没面子了？这要跟我们的运动员讲清楚，能让的地方。一定要让，这不是正式比赛吗？呃，要体现出我们中华民族的那种包容和大度的风范。好，嗯，总理，美国乒乓球队来了以后，你要不要见一下？当然要见，一定要见。Mr. President, the itinerary for our table tennis delegation has been turned in. It will be headed by Graham Steinholman and. Comprised of 15 members, along with four journalists. Mm, good. How long are they staying in China? For seven days, from the 10th until the 17th. Ah, that's quite a long stay. And what's the program? They will visit the Great Wall, the Forbidden City, Beijing, Shanghai, and Guangzhou. Ah, there'll even be a few friendly uh, ping pong matches along the way. By the way, oh, it sounds great. You know, there's an old Chinese saying that. Respect should be reciprocal. Mm. So, if our players are treated with sincere hospitality, we shall return the favor. Mm. I understand, Mr. President. I will uh, draft a plan for your review. Thank you, Harry.
班长先生，你第一次来中国吧 ？It's your first time to visit China, Mr. Steinhogan. Yes, it's the first、uh, visit to China for all the members of the delegation. 是的，这对我们代表团的每一个人来说都是第一次来中国。哦、oh, ，你对中国的印象如何 ？How do you find China? Well, uh, we've developed an impression that China is an old, as much as a young country. Well,、uh, we've been exposed to the hospitality of the Chinese people wherever we go. 在这里，我们处处能感受到中国人民的友好和热情。听你这么说，我非常的高兴。I'm glad to hear you say so. 你好。Hey, 你好。你好。如果我没有猜错的话。I'm sure that you, Mr. Coben. Yes, Mr. Premier. Thank you for inviting us to China. 感谢您邀请我们来中国。我们应该感谢你才是啊。We should be thanking you. 如果那天你没有搭乘中国运动员的汽车，怎么可以想象中美运动员像今天这样友好的坐在一起？告诉我。来中国这些天，印象最深的是什么 ？You during your stay in China so far? Hmm, I guess it's roast duck. Yeah. Hahaha. 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 中国好吃的菜还有很多，烤鸭只是其中的一种。你们大家要抓紧品尝啊！一饱口福。You also like playing ping pong. 我听说您也打乒乓球。嗯，喜欢是喜欢，可是水平有限，比你们可是差远了。No way, no way. So may we honor to play sometimes? 让我能有机会和您打一场比赛吗？嗯，当然可以。哦，真的。等安排的时间，我们再一场。好了，大家请坐。I just got word that Premier Zhou Enlai met with our table tennis delegation at the Great Hall of the People. Well, and he、uh, even played ping pong with a few of our guys. <laughs> the Great Hall of the People, that's extraordinary. It is, sir. And of course, that is for our consumption. So, it's time to make a move in return. What do you plan to release in the media? Five points, Mr. President. Be more specific. Well, Number one, we should grant visas to individuals and groups coming from the People's Republic of China visiting the United States. Two,、uh, easing control over the U.S. dollar. Three, lifting the restrictions on U.S. oil companies that are providing fuel to vessels and aircrafts that are journeying to and from China. Four. Hold on. You are declaring an end to our trade embargo against Beijing. In a sense, Mr. President. Let me think over it. Of course. Hmm. Mei Guo. Like? Like? Hmm. Where did it come from? 肯定猜不着<笑>，那你就不要让我费这个脑子了，直接说谜底。您还记得科恩吗？科恩，嗯，当然记得。那个美国乒乓球运动员，这是他的母亲啊，托人从美国加州的威斯伍德专门给您送来的。先说了，为了感谢您对科恩的接见和教诲。教诲？嗯。我对他没有教诲什么呀。科恩以前啊，可是个玩世不恭的嬉皮士。自从跟您见了面以后，他回去以后逢人便说来中国这段经历，跟变了个人似的。
这件事看，我们中美两国关系的发展还是有着深厚的基础的，因为中美两国人民都是渴望友好的，中美两国青年都是爱好和平的。嗯。本来啊，哦，这段时间你很辛苦啊，啊，不过辛苦值得，因为，你干成了件大事。大事，主席是指什么？当然是乒乓外交啊，嗯，用小球推动大球。那。也是主席的谋略和魄力呀、啊。当时我们已经决定不要求美国乒乓球队访华了，最后一刻，还是主席拍的板吧。尽管拍板的是我，但事情还是你们做的。当初谁都没想到，一个小小的乒乓球，就把中美封闭了二十多年的大门给打开了。嗯，尼克松也很兴奋呐、啊。美国乒乓球队回美国的时候，尼克松专门在白宫接见了乒乓球领队格雷姆·斯汀霍文，而且在接见报业协会的时候呢，正式宣布了解除对华的贸易禁令。嗯，按这个节奏啊，估计他们会趁热打铁，安排下一个步骤。主席呀、啊，你的意思是，他们会派人来？派谁来不一定，但来人是肯定的。通知咱们，他们准备让第七舰队停止在台湾海峡巡航。给咱们的理由就是，由于经费不足。早就是意料之中的事。看来美国人是要抛弃我们台湾。啊，父亲，我觉得，哎，应该不是吧，因为。美国那边说了，虽说停止了第七舰队在咱们台湾海峡的巡航，但是他们一定会阻止中共对我们动用武力。好了好了，你不用替美国人说话，啊？我台湾还没有到山穷水尽的地步，是，我就不相信。他美国两院的人，都能同意这个决议。去通知我驻美使馆的沈建红，让他密切注意美国高层的动向，找参众两院的朋友打听打听，他们对台湾的政策到底会有什么样的变化。Ah, good evening, Mr. President. Now, uh, Harry, did you read that? I have indeed, sir. They're against uh, our approach for mending fences with Beijing. They allege that it undermines our relationship with Taiwan and uh, hurts American interests. American interest. I'm doing this to maximize American interest. A bunch of short-sight fools. Well, at least still send an envoy to China, sir. Of course. I won't give it because of my opponents. Victory belongs to adventurers. 
Fortune indeed favors the bold, sir. Now, do you um, have any candidates in mind? What do you think? Hmm. I think that uh, David Bruce, our chief negotiator with Vietnam. Mm. Chinese are very sensitive to the Vietnam question. David would rose their bad feelings. Will, will, will William do, sir? He is a reasonable choice. As Secretary of State, he's the uh, natural equivalent of Beijing's foreign minister. Ah, no. William is too high figure. He will attract the Soviets' attention. Well, it seems as if you've already got a choice in mind. I have. It's you. <laughs> Mr. President, I mean, with, with all due respect, I'm not the right man for this job. Come on, Harry. You're the one on Earth who know me the best. I'm sure you can do it, and do it well. Well, thank you, Mr. President. Well, then should I make the trip overtly or uh, covertly? No. Keep it cover, of course. Make it top secret, and you take care of all details. You have my confidence, Harry. Hmm. Understood. Well, Mr. President, let me be the adventurer this time. Let it be, my adventurer. <sighs> Doctor, I have brought whom you wanted. Oh, that would be all, Lily. Ambassador Farland. Ah, oh, Dr. Kissinger. Finally, so glad to meet you. After all this time. Likewise. Uh, uh, please, after you. Uh, well, lovely day for it. Spectacular. Mm. Uh, please, have a seat. Uh, Ambassador Farland, thank you on behalf of President Nixon for coming today. Mm. Our meeting will last no more than five minutes, and afterwards, I'm going to immediately send you to the Los Angeles airport. Now, First and foremost, no one must know that you are here. Do you understand? I understand. So, what do you want from me? I'm going to China. Through Islamabad. To China? Mm, indeed. You are going to be responsible for handling all of my travel arrangements while I'm in Islamabad. Me? I have personally vetted you myself. I find your character to be loyal, reliable and meticulous in your work. You're also hand-selected by President Nixon himself. Now, my movements must remain strictly confidential, and no one must know of my actual whereabouts other than yourself. Not even my bosses at the State Department. Ah, don't worry about Secretary of State Rogers. You've, you've got some President's backing. And besides, hey, this is a matter of national interest. I understand. Now, in a few days, I will be leaving from Washington. First, I'm going to go to Saigon, then Bangkok, New Delhi, Islamabad, and then finally on to Paris. There's going to be no reporters with me on the plane. I'm not doing any press conferences at any of the locations that I'm going to. Now, we're going to land at a covert airstrip in Islamabad. From there, I'm going to surreptitiously go on to China for no more than 36 hours. After that time, I'm going to come back and make a very um, ostentatious and demonstrable appearance in Islamabad before I finally fly on to Paris. Is 36 hours going to be enough? <sighs> I believe that it will be. Now, what I need from you, your task is going to make people believe that I'm in Pakistan, even though I'm still in China. You have to make everybody believe that I'm still in Pakistan. Can you handle this? I can. Very good. Now remember, no one must know. <laughs> even my, even my assistant Lily doesn't know. <laughs> Doctor, pleasure meeting you. Likewise, safe travels. Yes, you do. Nixon 
。他们有什么要求吗？他要求与您或中央的高层官员见面，而且他从伊斯兰堡到中国的行程，由我们来安排。需要我们派飞机去接吗？他说：“飞机可以乘坐巴基斯坦的，但领航、停落在哪个机场、通信联络等细节，都由我们来负责。”他们来多少人？主要是基辛格博士，可能还有他的助手。他也希望我们一定要严加保密。这个是挺有意思的，让我想起了三十年代的重庆。这样吧。这件事，我必须向毛主席报告。如果毛主席同意他们来访，我们再具体的研究下一步的工作。好。Mr. President, word has just come from Islamabad. Oh, show it to me. Respected President Nixon, Chairman Mao said that he welcomed President Nixon's visit. And look forward to having direct talks with His Excellency. <laughs> Premier Johan and I welcome Dr. Kissinger to China as the representative of the United States. He held preliminary secret talks with senior Chinese official to make necessary arrangement for President Nixon's visit to China. <laughs> yes, sir. Do you not think? That this is the most historical document received by the president since the end of World War II. Obviously, Harry. Oh, hold on a minute. Come on, Harry. <laughs> this is incredible. Ah, here we go. My best brandy. Oh, it smells wonderful. Harry, we are not drinking for personal success, but. To celebrate the policy of this administration, we receive this letter. Let's make this evening a memorable moment. <sighs> Sir, do you know who this makes me think of in this moment? Who? Marco Polo, who traveled to China hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Well then, let's give you China tour. The code name Operation Marco Polo. How do you like it? I love it, sir. Uh, unfortunately, uh, while I'm in Beijing, I might not be able to keep you informed all the time. I mean, what if I accidentally sell Alaska to the Chinese? <laughs> I bet you dare not, <laughs> Harry. All my prayers go with you for every minute you spend in China. Cable me the word Eureka when the job is done. Eureka, I've got it, sir. You know Marco Polo, he found China. What do you think I will find? Peace, Harry. To the secret and important mission. Cheers, sir. 经请示，毛主席同意，我们成立一个临时的对美接待小组。你们在座的都是这个小组的成员。总理。我们这次的任务是什么？尼克松决定派基辛格通过巴基斯坦的秘密渠道密访北京。我们的任务就是把人接来、陪好、安全的送走。这件事从头至尾都是隐蔽的，对外不能透露任何方向。总理，具体怎么安排？何总啊，你的任务就是乘专机，带领我国的领航员秘密飞往巴基斯坦首都伊斯兰堡。到了伊斯兰堡之后呢，为了不引起怀疑，飞机当即返回，你留下来，同领航员与巴基斯坦。飞行员一起研究一个详尽的航线，然后由巴基斯坦的飞行员驾机驶航北京。我明白了，总理。文杰啊，小林，你们俩要秘密前往伊斯兰堡，有些事情可以与叶海牙
和总统直接接洽，也可以找我方驻巴基斯坦大使长通。明白。叶帅，你就坐着北京，等飞机降落的时间定下来了，你要亲自去机场迎接。好，定下了。在哪个机场降落了吗？初步定在北京的南苑机场。哦，燕子，你此次执行的是一次特殊的使命。这次任务有许多不确切性，所以需要你大胆的谨慎，随机应变。我对你。绝对保密。那我们到了伊斯兰堡之后，是不是应当先同使馆的张大使联系？张通大使是此次行动的总联络人，总导演是巴基斯坦的叶海亚汉总统。叶海亚汉总统，那照这么说，我们是要上演一出国际大戏啊？是啊。正因为事关重大，才需要格外的谨慎。那我们接到基辛格之后，能与他交谈吗？当然可以，不能涉及敏感问题，这个你懂的。好了，燕子。Soon be leaving, Mr. President. Do you have any further instructions? Do you know how I feel at this point? No, sir. I feel excited and concerned, you know, as if I was walking along an Himalayan cliff. Enemy step, and we crash to death. Now, sir, my trip to China can hardly be kept a secret throughout. In case of leak, do you have a plan? Let the White House release a brief statement. Saying that Dr. Kissinger is going to the People's Republic of China to meet with their leaders at their invitation, and then I will brief the president about my trip upon my return. Nothing more. Do you think it will work, sir? I have no misgivings that this sort of terse statement could quell an uproar. There's always a price to pay to make history. Harry, you can make miracles. I believe in you. Thank you, sir. Take care of yourself, huh? Yeah, go on. So how was your trip? Good? It was all just laying the foundation. The real show has not yet begun. Well, to feel like I'm fortunate enough to be part of this great show, I can't help but be a little excited. Why are there so few people in the embassy now? I sent them away. Some are on vacation, some are with families. It's just easier. Ambassador Farland. My time is very limited. Your coordination with China, there must not be any problems. Do you understand? Your trip has been totally arranged. When the time comes, you just... Very good. Gentlemen, we are greatly honored to have Dr. Kessinger visit Pakistan on President Nixon entrustment. However, unfortunately, Dr. Kessinger cannot attend the dinner because he is suffering acute abdo abdominal pain. We feel deeply sorry for that. 
I hope he will be get very soon. Doctor? Doctor? I did not expect that after pretending to have diarrhea, that I would actually have diarrhea. God must be punishing me for my lies. Do you need some medicine? Oh, no, no, no. I, I can stand it. Okay. So shall we leave now? Yes, the plane's waiting. Oh, good. <clears throat> Wait, Doctor. Before we go. If I could, would you wear this? these on as well? Well, it's nighttime outside. There's no sun. Isn't it a bit queer to wear these? It's a disguise. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, Is Dr. Kissinger seriously ill? I have called a doctor for him, but doctor said there is no main problem. He had to rest for two days. Thank you. Is Dr. Kissinger hospitalized? Where is he? Could we pay him a visit? During the hot weather in Islamabad, in order to help our distinguished guests recover soon, I have arranged for him to recuperate at Nakhyagali Presidential Villa in Northern Hills during the time. Mm, he doesn't want anyone to bother. Thank you. Well, you should not affect your mood because of doctor's health. Let us continue with the dinner. I would like to propose another toast with the ladies and gentlemen. Cheers. 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 You may have good health. Mr. Kissinger, we're about to cross the Chinese border soon. So I am about to be the first U.S. official to enter China. Well, to be more accurate, you are the first U.S. official to enter new China. Oh. You know, Miss Ling, I don't think you understand just how much of an effort I've made for this trip to Beijing. I've heard that you put on a show in Islamabad. <laughs> Please Jian Bingdong
，毕竟是二十多年的坚冰啊，这场谈判不会轻松。是啊，我有思想准备。听其言，观其行，啊，让他们先谈。我想啊，主要的问题还是台湾问题、越南问题、联合国代表权的问题。嗯，这三个，哪一个都是很棘手的问题，绕不过去。原则和底线不能让步。我想，总不能像朝鲜板门店那样怒目而视，不欢而散吧？此一时，彼一时啊！这是在北京，不是在华盛顿。Very, very beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oldest character. China, we finally step onto this mysterious land. <sighs> Look, they prepared some nice food for us. I have to say, everything is very different than what I imagined. Do you think this room is...? No. We have two hours until our negotiation, and we have got a lot to prepare. Perhaps we should go out to the garden to work. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Not this one. I need the latest version of this document. The latest version? I hope tomorrow goes well. We've got to use more ambiguous wording in our negotiations. Yeah, I agree with you, Doctor. Hello, Doctor Kissinger. Hello. This is the first time in the United States of America in 20 years. In more than 20 years. Well, regrettably, our handshake cannot be made public. Otherwise, the whole world would have been shocked. Uh, please, may I introduce you to my party first? This is John Holdridge. He is a member of the United States National Security Council. You will speak Beijing, and you will speak Guangdong. You speak better than me. You speak in Hong Kong, right? Mr. Li, how do you know everything? This is Dick Schmeister, an expert on Southeastern Asian issues. I've seen your report on the foreign policy in the foreign policy. It's very good. I hope you can write an article on China. Thank you for your appreciation, Mr. Premier. I certainly will. And this young man here is... Winston Moore. Huh, this young man is so young. You're so young. 我知道你妻子是中国人，会写小说。我愿意读她写的书，欢迎她的访问。哦 ，Thank you， 谢谢。我心不走过，变幻的风云里，你越发威武。唯有那么一天，环球同此两人，与谁肩相撑我们？